This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. How old are you? I'm 36. All right. So we're talking about living uh, apart together, or if you have a question about anything, what do you want? To, what are we talking about today? Well, I, I guess I can touch on living together. Um, I totally agree with with what you're saying, especially with living apart people. together. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. And I guess I would say I totally agree with you. And the reason why I feel I totally agree with you is because you're right. Um, with, with, with the way the world is changing, people's tolerance, people's tolerance is way shorter nowadays. That's a fact. But like you said, they still want to, it's like, get away from me, but please love me. You yep. know what I'm saying? That's real. <laughs> um, you're getting on my nerves today, but once my attitude changes, let's go eat, you know? Uh, so I don't know if that's bipolar or just moodiness or whatever it is, but okay. we can just, I, I blame, I blame history. It's been stolen from us. So we take on these identities and these different characters that we see on TV and no one is really themselves anymore. I, I think, I think more than anything else, we just have too much information. We're too overloaded. I mean, but the wrong information. Yes. Wrong, right. The subconscious brain does not. Un the subconscious brain doesn't distinguish between good, bad, right, or wrong. It's all information. That's a fact. And this is not a solution for everyone. But just like you said, how many times do you hear people talk about they're in a relationship, but they can't stand the person when they're, when they're away from the person they want to be around them? We, people today across the board don't want to be in each other's space like our grandparents did. So I don't, um, the more I started to think about it, the more I started to think this is probably going to, and this is, understand something, people, this is a trend worldwide. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's becoming a trend worldwide, so we might as well start talking about it. Yeah. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Okay. Um, do I, have, you, I mean, I've raised my sister. I don't know if that counts. No, no, no. Do you uh do you want do you want a, to be married one day? I would like to be married one day. Yes, I would you, like to find a distinguished gentleman and become married. Would you pre would you prefer to live together or would you prefer to live? Would you prefer a traditional setup or something different? I I, I want a traditional man. I will yeah. I would love for God to bless me with the traditional man. The mm. with the old old antique heart you know not well <laughs> well now you know my views are very you know me i'm a christian but i believe that marriage is a natural choice god blesses us with the 24 hours a day seven days a week what you doing to make sure you do, uh, around these men and the kind of men that's going to pick you if he came into your presence that's more important okay i'm glad you answered that because I, i've been lately i'm gonna start with the appearance um, right now, I just got my real estate license. Um, I'm trying to build my little real estate business. I Traditional my... men don't care about business. No. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. No, that's not what I'm. That's not my point for saying that. My point for saying that is I've been neglecting 
my appearance mm -hmm. so that I can won't look I would say won't look homeless or ghetto or whatever whatever the classifications people want to put on women nowadays I have not presented myself uh with my appearance to mm -hmm. get out there and meet that type of man emotional damage okay uh well then you ain't gonna attract him exactly and so i i want to get there i i can honestly say i'm but, not you see me now no no nothing but but at 36 years old were you raised with a mother and father in the household i will honestly have to say they were a young in love couple but it turned uh toxic okay it, well it, so at 36 years old you know men are visual yes uh, why not why why just now start to worry about your appearance on the downside of 40. Now I have to now now let me now let me answer that as well. I just to make a long story short, I was voted um in class of 02, I graduated class of 02. I was voted most conceited. So I used to be very into the heels and the nails and and I and I've and I've attracted a few millionaires. They smell like a bull, a bullshit in my 20s coming up because that was very important to me once upon a time but then as i wanted to learn myself and i got i wanted to dig deep and learn not to be shallow learn how to be humble learn how to put god first learn not to just give my body to a man just because he say he loved me uh let people prove you know that their intentions is you know all of that you know i um i lost the way of the uh Sounds like you're just lazy to me. <laughs> I'm getting, I have been. I've been yeah, because all that, because uh, that was a nice way of saying that I attracted a millionaire. That, that, that don't take nothing except having a and some titties. That's all that take. To attract a millionaire, to attract a man in your 20s, if you're physically appealing, is no different than attracting a man on fries at McDonald's. But I'm trying to understand why so many of our black women feel like walking around with bonnets and flip flops and house shoes and, and, and not being physically appealing is the thing to do. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. It's like it's like in our community. It's like a badge of honor to be busted. Because I'm deep and I'm not and I'm not letting no man take advantage. That don't sound like nothing to be proud of. And, and and that's and and I and I stated all that to say I'm coming out of that. So I I'm the one thing about me, I am a woman to the fullest. Meaning I can be I, I can be I can admit when I'm wrong, and I can take. Uh, well, the reason I reason I'm direct because you're 36 years old. You 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 have no little you have no time. I have no time. You're right. So I'm so I'm, so I'm, so the magic. So like, how tall are you? I'm I'm. I'm no, no, just a, no, 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 don't, don't show, no, no, we don't have to do all that, okay, hold okay, the camera okay. right there. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Yeah, well, you're doing too much now. Hold, hold on, you're doing, hold on, hold on, you're making, a, you're making the camera go crazy, you're doing too I'm much. Sorry. Just chill out. Yeah, um, competition is stiff, men are visual. Yeah. You talking about you want a, an old school man, a traditional man, and you want kids? Yeah. How many kids do you want? I want two, a girl and a boy. You can pick those, you can only pick the quantity. Um, then do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? Well, that's the thing. I got my real estate license, so I don't... Yes or no? I plan to help if I'm answering the question correctly. Well, I plan to I, work, work to pay significant bills, meaning if you don't work, the family's still fine. Yes. So you do want to have to work to make sure the family's okay, or you don't yes. want to have to work. Yes. I want to I wanna build enough assets, generational what wealth is my plan. We, can, we can't be generational wealth. I mean, we got, we just got to gotta pay the rent first. We got we, black women talk a lot of this shit. Nine percent of y'all make over seventy five thousand dollars a year. Well, I'm saying get, I got real estate deeds. So maybe I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't care if you got real estate deeds. I mean, you can do that's paperwork. Do okay. you have? Do you have it? You have the money in the bank account and the paychecks and the commission checks to support anything. working on that then no. then that's a no so no. see far too many of our women talk and i want to build generational wealth 
You can't build generational wealth as an individual. You need a husband. And you need multiple things going on. But before that, you got to get a man. And what I'm asking is, how are you going to attract that man if, if you, you got your real estate license in the last 10, 20, 10, 15 years, you've just been doing something else at 36 years old when the competition is still? And this, according to you, you do want to, what percentage of the, here's a question, what percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime out of 100%? What percent do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Honestly, I want my husband to do all of that, if, if I'm so, being honest. Okay, so you want to be responsible for zero percent. I want to I want to I want to be responsible for when my husband needs. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. See, at 36, okay. you should be able to answer these questions. I'm asking you, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with your first child? And you say, I want to help. Uh -uh. What percentage of the over fam overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for your generational wealth you're talking about building? What all of it. All of it. Just okay. all okay. of it. Okay, you're missing the question. All of I it am. means you're providing 100%. Okay. Out of 100%, say, out of 100 of the mortgage, the retirement, the car, the college loans, the trips, the vacations, everything. What percentage of that whole number for a lifetime do you want to have to be responsible for? 50. Get the f out of here, man. Please. Please get the f out of here, man. Okay, that means if you don't work, the family is in jeopardy. Okay. I'm not, I'm going to answer this question wrong because I guess I'm honestly not getting the question the way I need yeah, to the, get Yeah, well, the, the question is, you say you want your husband to be responsible for all of the money, and then in the next breath, you want to be responsible for 50%. How about this? Let me ask you right now. If you never married, right? Never been married. If, no, no, no. If you never get married in your lifetime, right? Okay, there we go. What, what percentage of your, fa your financial load are you going to have to carry? All of it. Right. So if you get married, what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to carry? All of it. <laughs> hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm slow. I'm slow, Kevin. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so, I don't. That's a trick question. It's not a trick question, ma'am. It's math. If you work, you got to pay all your bills. Yes. If it's just me by myself. But if you're yeah. married, do you want your, so that's a husband. You want to be responsible for all of it means you're responsible for what you need, what he needs, and what all the kids and the pets and everybody need. That means no, you. No, I don't want that. If I get married, I want my husband to bear most of the bearing. What's most of? What's most of? 80%. Okay, and see, this is the problem. I'm just, why is this so painful? Because, ma'am, you're over almost 40 years old. And no disrespect, okay. you haven't even thought about a financial structure. It's like, y'all just walk around through life and expect this shit to just happen when it comes to men. That's a fact. Can so I listen. Okay. No, no, I gave you plenty. I gave, I, I, I gave the basic two plus two is four questions. So many different ways. And the reality is y'all don't think about this stuff. Y'all just, because see what you really think is when I get married, I want to attract a man and he going to take care of it all. So I ain't got to think about it. I can live what I'm doing right now and, and later on. So whatever I got as far as debt, student loan debt, credit card debt, my man, should, he's supposed to come in and build. And most men don't make that kind of money. Can I chime in my perspective? Because I don't want to get booed. I don't want to get... Go, go ahead. I don't go ahead. Get go, ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All I, my perspective to all of that is just this, uh, Mr. Samuels. Because I've been doing it for so long, my brain is me, 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 me. Um, I, even though what you're about to say doesn't matter, it's all paperwork. But in my brain, from trying to just build or have a lifestyle or, or whatever, 
it's been me, me, me. So, so then, why, husband, so, so then, so, so when you get, get a husband, so if I get a I, husband, uh huh, if I get a husband, I honestly do not expect him to do everything what I but want. But you want him to do, but but hold on, but you want him to do eighty percent of it. So that means, listen, that means you go from having to do a hundred percent to take care of you to only having to do twenty percent to take care of you and some kids and a man. That's a hell of a deal. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so what kind of men make the kind of money to be able to take on a wife and have two children to where she's only going to have to provide at best 20%? The 1% of men, the high, a small, a small mm -hmm. pool. Uh huh. Right. And what? And 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 due respect, ma'am, do you think you can secure one of those? Uh, I have. I I feel I can. Yes. Yes. Huh? At thirty six yes. years. Yes, I feel I can. Okay, this is where the ranking stuff start coming in. Dress right. size. At this present moment, with the braids and everything. No, no, dress up. Dress size. I, oh, I'm small. I'm I'm like a size seven. Seven. How tall are you? Five six. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? I weighed one fifty eight. And on a scale from zero to ten, from one to ten, you can't use seven. Straight out of the shower, your hair, no makeup. What do you rank yourself? Ten. No makeup. Ten. Get the f out of here, man! Please, please get the f out of here, man. Ten. <laughs> Ten. It's just, I guess, it's just my confidence. Ten. Take that confidence to a bank account with zero money and see how confident the ATM give you any money out. <laughs> I'm not just to try to. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, man. When I'm you listening. do, when y'all do, shit, then it starts making me want to start act a fool. You really think I you're a 10? I don't care. I don't care what you feel. I feel like I don't. I'm not gonna say nothing less. I don't. You ask me a question. This is, and this is and this is why you'll be. This is why women like you die alone. You can feel like you're a 10, but ma'am, you're not a 10. A 10 means your supermodel looks. Well, I mean, it's like. In women in general, black women in particular, feel like I'm a ten. I'm gonna say I'm a ten no matter what. But I don't feel it's just I don't feel in looks though. I don't feel. Well, it's that's the problem. But see, that's the problem though. See, how do we get here? You're 36 years old and you ain't worried about your looks. That's true. I and that's why. That. Well, there you go. So you obviously don't understand what it takes to get the kind of man you're talking about. That's why 100. percent That's why you got such a single woman's mindset because the way you're setting yourself up. Thinking about I'm only having to do for me, 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 and not worry about how I look and carry myself, and then thinking at 36 years old you can just turn around and and then I'm a, I'm a 10 and I'm gonna get a man to pay 80 percent of the that ain't how that works. Well, that's why I wanted to get on this call so I can be set straight. I'm not saying enough straight, man. man I, I mean, hear it. okay, but see, you want to hear it, but what I'm not getting is a realistic answer. Do you really think? That if I put you next to Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and Rihanna, you in that line of women. You, well, as far as the, looks. I've been in the same room with them. I don't care about being okay. in the same room with you, man. As far as as far as far physical That's what I'm talking about. No. no. That's the, but that's the question I asked you. I thought you just said, how do, do I feel I'm a 10? I no, I, I said, what do you rank yourself? What do you rank your looks? I thought you said, what do I but, rank myself? Okay, No. Okay. It's the same question. If you watch me, it's the same question. Okay. As far as yellow soap, yellow soap, yes. So as your no. face, one to ten, you cannot use seven. Fresh face, no makeup, right out of the shower. Six. That's come on now, come on now, I'm a, come on now, give me something now. Uh, <laughs> Sensational. I'm just, I'm not saying, we've already gone beyond. And see, the thing is, one of the problems that I find with many modern women is you guys lack self-awareness and humility. I mean, it's just, y'all are just like the, y'all are.
see that's what see that's what I was afraid of and I and I wanted to put a disclaimer out before you connected with me because I pray every day that I work on my attitude that I work on how I'm being perceived um, I try not to talk as much when I'm out in public I try to ask questions and just not waste too much air and too much breath so I'm I'm, I feel I'm very aware of how I act and how others perceive me. And I don't, I, trust me, I, I pray up and down that I do you not pray, be You pray, women. God ain't got nothing, okay. Okay, but if you okay. want to be married. Okay. And you know men are visual. Yes. I know they're visual. Maybe this, maybe this. No, 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 I need you to listen. <laughs> I need you to listen. Okay, I'm listening. You, you're praying that a man accepts you the way you are. Okay, yeah, it might be true. You're that right. Means he, that, means, that means the kind of man you want would have to settle. That's a fact. Ooh, okay. I mean, I'm listening, you, I'm listening to a woman that says, I, I, I've been in this room, I've been in this room. When I was in my 20s, when I looked a certain way, I got this. But the last 16 years, it's just been whatever. No, no, like two Two years. Two years. I've been under construction. No shit. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 You say it's so all bullshit. Two years. I've been under construction. I've been single for two years. I've been under construction. How long was your last relationship? Seven years. Why didn't you guys get married? He wanted to marry me. I don't. I wasn't in love with him. I was not in love with him. <laughs> so you spent seven years with somebody. I, I found out some things about him. In year one or year seven? In year seven. Then you, that makes no sense. No matter how you slice it. That makes no sense. And was he a millionaire? He was. A, he, he, I'm not going to say he was a millionaire, but I've seen, but he was a general contractor. The business was making millions. The business was making the business money. ain't made, okay, but that doesn't mean okay. Uh, that's so, all I'm saying. So yes, you don't so right. so this man wanted to marry you. But I felt he was a homosexual. That's why I uh, on the low. That's why I didn't wanna I didn't wanna sleep with him. I and this I is your that, boyfriend, right? This was my boyfriend and in year seven I suspected homosexuality and I didn't want to deal with it. Get the French toast out of here. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord know, mercy, you're I going know. to world star. You are good. You are outside of your ever loving mind. I'm just telling you, asking there, you. Year questions. seven, year seven. So year one through six. There was some time apart. Holy Jesus, I've holy never Jesus, seen holy the Jesus. Vibes. Holy Jesus, holy Jesus, holy I'm Jesus. I'm just telling you, I'm trying. No, man, no, no, I know, I know, I know you're dead to serious. Honest. But the thing is, what, what I'm asking. You saying why? Why would you be with somebody for seven years? I don't care about you. You start suspecting uh, homosexual vibes in year seven. So what about year one when most people decide that you you call him your boyfriend? Okay, okay. In year he one, wanted to marry you. Let, okay, let me be honest. In year one, it was in year one. It was more of a employer employee. When I first met him, I was the employee. It started off. Ma'am, you dating. said he was your boyfriend for seven years. We dated in that first year after I stopped working for him. We did start dating that first year I met him. Yes, when I stopped working for the company, only worked for the company for a few months. I don't care about the work, ma'am. I care about you. Said you were in a bad relationship for seven years. Well, maybe I'm getting the word relationship. Maybe my view of relationship and your view of relationship. Is mean, I'm, 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 no, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. Because but it wasn't. I asked you if it was your boyfriend. Yes, it was my boyfriend. Was it a monogamous, committed relationship? It was not a committed relationship. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. It's not a, mm. It was not committed. It was not right. committed. And Bless I say that because he was cheating. He was doing what he was doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It wasn't a perfect. Mm. It was, I don't. I don't get it, Mister Sinner. Can I just say this? 
we are relationships aren't perfect. No, ma'am. No, no, I don't need to hear any psycho babble. Okay. Did okay. you claim this man is your boyfriend? I did. And did he claim you as his girlfriend? He. That's a yes or no. No. Emotional damage. No. So was, how are you in a relationship? I was, I was so how one are you of in a, his girlfriend. No, 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 not, not sort of. See, when a relationship happens, there's a conversation. You my lady, I'm your man, we ain't seeing nobody else. And you don't just go around as a grown ass person for seven years without a conversation. So Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button on the way out. I'll see you on the next one.